Remember the Ford Focus RS that was sold here up until I believe 2020 or something like that. We, we don't have it here in the States anymore, unfortunately. But Ford is trying to do something about this, and that is to turn the Mustang Mach-E into a sort of rally trim, which is very interesting. I kind of like how this looks. I think this looks better than the normal Mach-E, but still, the name Mustang on an electric SUV doesn't really work for me, but I'm kind of over it now. So what we're gonna do in this video is have a look at this design and see what's new here. But before we do that, let's talk about this uh, spec and tech here of the new uh, 2024 Ford Mustang Mach-E Rally from this article from Car and Driver. So the battery electric Mike E Rally is the closest thing to a hot hatch in Ford's truck and SUV heavy model line, which is pretty sad to think about when you have, as I said, a lifted electric SUV being the closest thing to a hot hatchback when Ford used to be one of the greats with the Fiesta and the Focus ST RS models. This is what we get these days. An 0.8 inch lift and additional underbody protection is part of this package. Expect the Mike E Rally to stick it for around $65,000 when it goes on sale early in next year. So as I said, Ford may no longer sell the Focus RS, but the hot hatch spirit arguably lives on in the 2024 Mustang Mike E Rally. Not so sure about that. North of 480 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque out of the rally's two electric motors. So you have loose gravel and dirt or what the Ford built this specific rally Mach E4. And just have a look at how this goes over the gravel here. On uh, mid, They built a track uh, dedicated, a, a rally track in Michigan to test this, this vehicle on and I think that's where they took these pictures. It looks pretty fun. We have this big wing in the back but more on the design in just a minute. You have Magna Ride shocks, specially tuned springs and as, as I said a 0.8 inch lift which I actually think looks good. If you're gonna have an SUV like this why not just make it a little bit more uh, off-road worthy to begin with. What's the point otherwise of having it sit so high? So I'm glad that they actually added a 0.8 inch lift here. And you also have a train specific rally sport drive mode. The, the tires are Michelin Cross Climate 2 all season rubber and the Ford fits around uh, 19 inch wheels. I do love these Delta Integrales style wheels that we have on this Ford. We also have some new fog lights here in in the in the front end as you can see here a reworked, a reworked front fascia with high mounted fog lights a focus rs esque rear wing mounted to the hatch a black pen, painted roof and a pair of contrasting stripes on the hood and the tailgate you also have red painted brambo sourced calipers red you can't really see them here so i'm not sure why they have to be red because these uh, wheels basically cover up the entire a wheel or, or what's behind the, the calipers would like to see them a little bit more. Ford is aiming to squeeze 250 miles out of this battery pack uh, and it's 91 kilowatt hour uh, battery pack. So with that said let's jump into Photoshop and let's have a look at what's uh, what's going on with this Mach-E rally and why I think this actually looks better than the um, normal Mach-E which I, I don't know you, you need to have the proper stance for the new Mach-E if you want to make it look uh, decent. I, I've talked so much about this in the past, this car, and what I think about it, the proportions, the nameplate Mustang, we've talked about that so many times before. But having it sit like this, lifted with these rally wheels, I do think it actually works for this design. And then we have, I'm not so sure though about these fog lights, because these fog lights, as you can see, they're just placed in this randomly it feels in this black grill that we have in the front end they don't have any sort of connection to anything around it and and i want to have some sort of i don't know i want to have the the fog lights have some sort of housing for them to to not make them look so random and i'm not sure what that could be maybe a chamfer going around it or something like that but here they just decided let's just put drill a couple of holes right here in the front end and smack in some fog lights in it. That's what it feels like they did here. Down at the bottom you can see that we have this uh, open, um, the activated slots down here that opens up when the battery needs a little bit more cooling with these flaps in the bottom. The front end, other than the fog lights, looks pretty much like the rest of the, the, line, the lineup when it comes to Mach-E's, uh, which is... I, I don't know if it's too soft or if I want to have it be a little bit more muscle car in its design, but that's not what this is. This is a crossover SUV 
it is not a muscle car uh, or even a pony car anymore. Uh, specifically, not this Mustang Mach E. So overall, you have the stripes up here, this yellow color. I think it looks pretty decent in my opinion. Now the side view, I've also talked about this when this first came out. What I want to change here in the side view is you see the sharp line that we have going right here at the bottom. So we have a sharp line cutting through, but it doesn't have any connection in the rear bumper. You see the line starts down here. It's not connected to this line. It's just a sharp line in the center. And then we have this weird surfacing in this area that I was always been so confused about. I'm not sure what's going on here. We have sort of a, a soft shoulder right here. And then it comes back. You can see that the reflections going something like this creating some very strange surfacing in that area. I would like to clean that up by having just a sharp line that goes from the headlights right here and then dips in and kind of fades in this area and then comes back in the rear end. We do have sort of a muscle over the rear axle here, but it's not sharp enough. I want to have this be just as sharp as we have in, in the normal Mustangs. This is too too rounded for my for me this uh, this uh, line right here I want to have that sharpness in it but one thing I do like about this design is the play with graphics so as you can see uh, down at the bottom we do have this black piece that cuts into the uh, to the lower section in the side view and in the front as well removing some of this mess we also have the same play with graphics up top because you can see we have this sloping roof line right here going dipping down into the A-pillar and then we actually have a lot more mass up top in this case we also have this big rally inspired focus RS inspired wing up top which I think looks pretty good in this case but you can see how they played with this graphics to improve the headroom that we have here it actually the, the car actually reaches all the way up here but it feels like a much sleeker design because of the body color and then you have the black piece removing some of that volume in the top as well and then of course the 19 inch rally rally um, wheels down here reminds me of the 90s, 90s classic rally car wheels looking really good I, I don't think I would switch these wheels up I uh, might want to add some even more aggressive all-terrain tires on, on this uh, specific package now looking at the rear end we can, the, the biggest change here to the Mach-E is of course this big wing that we have up top that I think uh, maybe I would even add on a Mach-E GT because I think it looks so cool. It, it definitely adds something to this design. And then one line that I've been so confused about for a long time is first of all we have this line up top. I kind of like the treatment that we have in the Mach-E right now on the on the uh, taillights. But then we have this lower section, this chamfer goes in here and fades and we have the same kind of treatment right here in this area. You can see the reflections going something like this, like we have in this area. So this line that we have right in the uh, front doors comes back in the rear end. And we also have this big flaps at the bottom with these chamfers. Not so sure I, I like this hollow, uh, thing that we have here the trunk sort of just hangs freely here and doesn't have any support in the lower section but overall you know it's a Mach-E I've talked so much about this design before and this is not really any huge differences to that the biggest difference is of course the rear end uh, the spoiler up top and the 0.8 inch lift that we have which I think actually helps this design now looking at this interior and I'm glad to see that we still have this detail here that is typical for Mustangs ever since the beginning in 1965 to have these two waves in the interior which surprisingly we don't have in the 2024 normal Mustang the sports car Mustang that's the only one that doesn't have this and I don't understand it even the Mach-E they, they put this styling into the Mach-E and it, this is one of these details that uh you know is such a big part of the interior design DNA of a Mustang that I really wanted to see it in the new Mustang but it's not available there but we have it here in the in the Mach-E and then we have this big vertically mounted TV as the uh, infotainment screen I'm glad to see that we at least have a physical dial for the I, I think this is just for the volume controls then you have you see that we have the uh, climate control settings here looking like physical buttons but there are of course inside of the software and we also have a a nice little display for the the uh, gauge cluster right here something that I would like to see in a lot more EVs specifically I, I mean the one I'm talking about is of course Tesla I want to see something like this but you know, this is the type of interiors that we're used to seeing these days. Just 
displays simple lines and nothing really exciting going on this look this to me is one of the better looking interiors in my opinion for an EV because we still have a little bit different textures and some styling inside of it overall I think it's a fun little experiment from Ford to do something in, you know unique and special with the Mach-E and I think it works great specifically as I said with this little lift and also the wheels the rally inspired wheels and the big spoiler in the back